Welcome to Shorty Supercoach and welcome to my press conference and it's uh, probably the first presser that I've actually been semi-excited for. <laughs> it's actually my best week of the year which um, isn't exactly something to boast about because it's been an absolute horror year for me. Finished work late tonight but I thought I'd still smash it out, um, get it up tonight, um, save a bit of time tomorrow and, and get it out bright and early. So here's how we went this week. You know, it's amazing what can happen when you don't have a zero. A couple of blokes actually pull their weight, so <laughs> that was nice. But, um, yes, it's starting to come together. I know the season rank is still atrocious, but it's just nice to have a week where you go, oh, yeah, wasn't too bad. So clearly the best week of the season for me, which is a nice change. So um, let's have a look. I actually haven't really looked individually as, at too many. Um, I brought Callum Mills in who was really solid, Tommy Stewart, Rory Laird going nicely, Stephen May has been only okay since bringing him in, but at that price he was just too hard to resist. Tommy Highmore, great he played, wasn't anything amazing. I thought he started the game well, but Kaczynski had a really good game, actually. Um, but he'll go next week, or this week I should say. I'll talk about my upcoming trades in a minute. Um, but Oliver, he was fantastic. Kelly scored most of those points in three quarters. Tommy Mitchell, you know, disappointing. And hello, Jai Simpkin <laughs> goes bang. Oh, I did have a chuckle. Just one of the absolute worst picks of my side this year. And uh, quite a few people messaged me going, hey, Jai Simpkin, what a gun. I was like, yeah, I knew he was a good pick all along. Clearly, he's not a great pick, <laughs> even after 164. He's got a little bit of work to do. But hey, hopefully, instead of averaging 80-odd for the first whatever rounds, hopefully for the rest of the season, he can just average high 90s, maybe even 100. You never know. Because that, you know, not 164, but those types of games is what I thought he would do more consistently. But hasn't been the case. But it's nice to see him pump out something decent. Willem Drew's been fantastic. You know, he's... He's going to be crucial to my side. I traded him in for Crips a while ago. It was a slow burn, but he's been crucial for me. You know, he's just been crucial because it'll allow me to do some really easy upgrades to some premiums. Um, Dyson Heppel will do, he'll do exactly the same, and, and so will James Jordan. You know, those guys are not only scoring well for my side, but they'll make the transaction from them to. McRae and Petrarca and those types of guys, super easy. Not having to spend too much coin. Tommy Powell, probably going to have to be traded, but he's done a great job for us. He's been really, really good. Um, the Ruckman just doing their job, and, and Flynn, that was fantastic. Um, side bottom's evil, pretty solid. Martin was back, I told you. I don't know why so many people were trading him out or even thinking about it. Our, our forward line is so so slim on good players i know he was out of touch but goodness me polter's a really nice pick bergman may make way and to well he was about the only one that didn't join the party for the week he was trash after starting well um and really pleased with Rowe just bouncing back because i need all the coin i can get now overall what am i going to do i think this week i will bring in ridley i know he isn't quite scoring as well as he was early on but he's still Pretty damn good um, for that price. What's he, like 485 now? 481. So that's pretty handy. Now, Powell probably needs to go. Well, he does need to go. Come on, just give me less than 70. Give even A break even of 70 would do me. Fuck. 106, that's not good. Ugh. Yeah, he has to go. Damn it. The reason I don't want to trade him is because I think McRae, Jack Steele, um, Christian Petrarca are all really ripe for the picking. And I, I wanted to convert Powell to one of them. Um, the reason I don't necessarily want to trade him down is because it's going to make me upgrading to an 8th premium really difficult. I know that seems a long, long way away, and maybe it's something I shouldn't really worry about too much, but it's just not much else sort of on the horizon. Anyway, I'll deal with that. So I'm thinking it's probably going to be Powell, 
uh, down and then Ridley in for Kaczynski which then next week will allow me to do a double upgrade um, what's Travis Boker because he's a guy that I would half think about if I could afford him but I don't think I can afford both doing the maths in my head but Isaac Heaney I think he's just going to be too cheap. You know, all these struggles we're having in our forward line, Rowan Marshall going down again, I just think he's going to be too cheap to resist. So probably it, it could be Dugowie out, um, Heaney in. It could even be Bergman. It could be Rowe, but Rowe's going real nicely. So that's the week after. So I'm thinking a downgrade and an upgrade this week, which will leave me with about 150 to 180k. And then, oh, sorry, it'll leave me with a lot more than that. Um, whatever it leaves me with, it'll allow me to have um, two upgrades next week, probably upgrading um, maybe maybe Heppel, um, even though he's doing a really good job. But I'll, I'll assess that when it gets there. I just I really want to bring in Jack Steele, McRae, Petrarca really soon. Um, you know, so and and Lockie Whitfield as well. Keep an eye on him. Definitely one to think about bringing into our sides pretty soon. So there's some promising signs, but I'm definitely looking to beef up that midfield because Petrarca McRae, in particular, are really looking like nice price at the moment after being way more expensive for much of the year. Jake Lloyd also just hovering around a pretty solid price compared to previous weeks. So. Um, we're going to have to do something about this forward line, though. It's really getting tricky, particularly with Rowan Marshall going down. It's frustrating. Need Dangerfield to come back, drop a couple of thousand dollars and uh, bring him in. But I hope you guys had a good week out there. Hopefully the audio issues have corrected themselves. Um, I'll be back for a live session, most likely on Thursday. Seems to be the winning time slot. And, um, yeah, we'll chat again soon. Cheers.